Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to film this video. I'm kicking off my 2018 holiday gift guides with today's video, which is going to be full of five different DIY holiday gift baskets that you could give your friends and family. Now the idea behind this video is not only to give you specific ideas of exact things that you could pull together and give to friends and family for the holiday season, but it's also to give you ideas in general. So a lot of these different gift baskets you could scale up or scale down. So if you wanted to give a gift to an acquaintance or a neighbor who you're not particularly close with, but you just want them to know that you are thinking about them, you could take these ideas and remove some of the things, make them a little bit smaller, a little bit less expensive. On the flip side, if you're giving this to someone who is near and dear to you, a best friend or a sister or your mom, something like that you could scale them up so you could add items into the baskets and make them more because you may want to give those closer people a little bit of a bulkier gift for Christmas or for the holiday season so just so that you know this is not meant to be exact this is exactly what you are supposed to do although you can copy my ideas exactly you can also adapt them to the people that you have in your life that you are shopping for this season so the first gift basket I'm calling the great for anyone tumbler and this is what it looks like. So it is a an acrylic tumbler. I chose this pretty navy blue color because it's, it's just my favorite color. And inside there is a Starbucks gift card, a little thing of Tic Tacs, a chapstick tube, a little nail polish, and then on the top, there's a little ornament affixed to the top. So I just unscrewed this and put the little different items around the straw, which goes straight down the middle, and then I tied on a little Merry Christmas pick, red pickup truck that has a Christmas tree in the back and added a little note that says Merry Christmas. This would be a phenomenal gift for coworkers. This would be a great gift for people in your life like your mail person. This would be a gift, obviously this one is quite leaning toward women, but if you wanted this to make this more for the men in your life, you could switch out this acrylic tumbler for more of the stainless steel look um, there are some on Amazon that we have. They are the Ar Arctic brand. I will link it below um, along with everything else that I can link below in this video. But you could switch that out and instead of doing chapstick and nail polish, you could do more manly things that, you know, whatever. But I mean, pretty much everyone needs chapstick at this time of year. But I think this is a really easy, nice gift. You could make it in bulk. It's quite inexpensive and um, it's nice though. It's a little bit nicer than just a gift card. It's a good carrier for a gift card and you could make the gift card a variety of different amounts. So that is the first one and like I said I'm calling it the great for anyone tumbler. The second gift basket in this video I'm calling the Christmas cookie fun basket. Now this basket has two packs of sugar cookie cookie mix. It has some little rubber spatulas that on one of them there's a snowman, the other one it says Merry Christmas. There is some vanilla frosting and then two types of gel frosting for decorating the cookies with. One is green and one is red. There are some festive Christmas sprinkles and there are a couple of cookie cutters that are Christmassy as well. I think this is such a nice little gift. I purchased a very inexpensive $6 little metal basket from Walmart. These are actually the same baskets that we keep on our bedside tables to keep our books and things wrangled. I think it's really cute and very, like I said, very affordable. And I just put everything in it and tied a little bow on it that says happy baking. This gift would be great for people that you know who have kids. This makes Christmas cookies with kids so simple and easy. You know, they can just make these really easy cookie mixes and just throw on some vanilla icing. The kids can go to town with decorating with the gel colors and with the little sprinkles. They can cut them out if they want. They can use the little rubber spatulas. I just think this is such a nice gift to give to people that you know with kids. Again, neighbors, this would be great if you and your best friend don't exchange big gifts, but you you know, she has kids and you just want to give their family a little something. You could add like a personalized ornament if you wanted to make it even more personalized. But I think this is a really nice gift. I mean, I think this would be fun for me to receive and we don't have children because we just like to bake and this is just an easy, fast, fun way to do it. But I think particularly this could be a fun idea for people with kids. So that is the Christmas cookie fun basket. This next basket I'm calling the cup of warm basket and I have a special affinity for this one. 
In it, I have some hot cocoa mix, some vanilla syrup, which is great in coffee, but I guess you could also add it into hot cocoa. I have a holiday blend of coffee, two really cute mugs, a bundle of candy canes, and a bag of mini marshmallows. And I got this little chicken wire looking basket from Hobby Lobby many moons ago. But I think it is great for things like this because it's totally functional. You could use it after the holiday season as well. But I just put everything into it and tied a little a little tag at the top that just says Merry Christmas. This is such a nice basket and such a nice gift for so many different people. I really love giving consumable gifts at Christmas time, especially to people who you know get a lot of gifts or to people who you don't know who to buy for because pretty much everyone loves a good cup of hot cocoa or you know a cup of Christmas coffee. Most people enjoy that and so I feel like it's a really nice and easy gift. Plus it come, if you put it in the cute little basket like this, people can reuse the basket afterwards this is great for a variety of people. You could give this to grandparents who know that they're having their grandkids in town for the holidays. They could have some little hot cocoa things. You could do this, give this to a couple without children. Like me and my husband don't have kids and we would love something like this. We love hot beverages, so this would be really fun for us. There's so many different types of people I feel like who appreciate something like this. And um, super easy, again, quite inexpensive, and you could scale it up or scale it down. So that is the cup of warm basket. This next basket I am calling the cozy homebody basket. And this one is hard to show, but I will overlay footage. So I have this big, really cute canvas basket to put it all in. This is from, I think, TJ Maxx. I have a big, fluffy Buffalo Chuck gray and white blanket. I have a little tin of Earl Grey tea a candle that is in a holiday scent, some fuzzy Christmas socks um, or just winter socks. I have a book that is all about being cozy and you know homey and things like that. And then I have a box of popcorn and some Reese's Pieces. Now I went ahead and put this all in this basket and to be honest with you, it could look a little better. <laughs> I could have put some tissue in the bottom and kind of made things at different levels. But for the purposes of this video, I think you get the idea that this could be a really cute, cute gift. I can. This is the kind of gift that I would love receiving because I am definitely someone who loves to be cozy at home, and I think that these different items all go together really well. You could scale this up and add things like bath bombs, especially some luxury, really nice bath bombs. You could add some more food items. You could add a mug. You could add a variety of different things into this basket that kind of go along with this cozy theme. You could also scale it back down and you could buy like a pair of slippers and just do a pair of slippers and a book or a pair of slippers and a box of tea. Sometimes those little gifts like that, they really mean a lot. I've received things like that in the past and have definitely reflected on how thoughtful I thought that those gifts were because it just showed that the gift giver really knew me as the gift recipient because I love tea and I love being at home. So just slippers and a box of tea, it doesn't have to be very expensive at all, but it's very thoughtful. So this is another gift idea. Again, very scalable. You could make it look a little better than mine, but I think you get the idea. <laughs> this cozy at home gift basket is a definite winner. My last DIY gift basket is really less of a basket and more of a bundle. So I am calling it the hostess with the mostest bundle. And this is just a small little gift. This is great for a host or a hostess. So if someone is hosting Thanksgiving or is hosting a Christmas party or a holiday party or your works party, this is the kind of thing that's totally usable. Again, it's a consumable, which I think is a nice thing to give in these days of people wanting to minimize and have less stuff. Um, but this is just such a fun festive thing. I would love to receive something like this. So I have the three different um, products from Mrs. Myers, and I chose the peppermint scent. There's also an Iowa pine scent that's really good and an orange clove scent are the three holiday scents that Mrs. Myers has this year that are all really great. And so I have the countertop spray, the dish soap, and then the hand soap, and I just tied a candy cane ribbon around it and wrote, thank you for hosting us on the tag. This is something that, again, very inexpensive, under $10, and would maybe a little over $10, under 
$15, under $12, and would just be a really nice thing to bring and give to someone. You could add in a baked good or something like that. You could add in a candle. You could just give just one of these things if you, like just the hand soap, if you wanted to scale it back. But I think that giving something like this is a nice gesture because it's not too much, it's not too over the top, but it is very thoughtful. So that is my fifth and final gift basket idea, which like I said, is really more like a bundle and that's the hostess with the mostess gift bundle. So there you have it. Those are my five gift basket ideas for this year in 2018. I hope those helped to spark some ideas for you, for friends and family, coworkers, neighbors, everyone in your life who you plan on giving gifts to this holiday season. I absolutely love gift giving. And like I've said in this video, it doesn't always have to be something massive. Sometimes small and thoughtful things go just as well and they're just as sweet. And it really is the thought that counts when it comes to gift giving. So if any of these ideas were helpful to you, I would really appreciate if you would give this video a thumbs up. That is so helpful to me. And I would love if you would comment below if you plan on using any of the, these ideas or if you have any other kind of gift basket type ideas that you want to share. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because I have several more gift guides coming, lots of Christmas cookie recipes and a variety of other holiday content. So you're going to want to be subscribed for all of that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.